I'm Peter Frank at the Tufenki and Fine Arts Gallery in Glendale, California, where I've organized a one-person exhibition of the recent work of the Dutch painter Joost de Jonge. The paintings all come from his recent Orpheus series. European artists struggle with the weight of history, actual and mythic, to an extent almost unimaginable to Americans. Rather than fend off that history and that mythology, Dutch painter Joost de Jonge embraces them, practicing a kind of spiritual and intellectual neoclassicism, even as his art manifests a much rawer impulse. Behind the work seen here, for instance, is the legend, part ancient religion and part modern poetry and psychology of Orpheus, the hapless demigod who twice loses his beloved Eurydice. Notably, Orpheus first woos and later tries to free the object of his ardor with the music he produces on his harp a music that can vanquish obstacles, but not fate. Music is a preoccupation of de Jonge's, who has long regarded his and effectively all abstraction as a responding to musical principles and experiences. Carrying this regard to theoretical levels, de Jonge recognizes and even elucidates parallels between visual art and music. A discourse that continues and modernizes the ancient Greek rhetorical form of ekphrasis. Working with poets, essayists, musicians, and fellow artists around the world, de Jonge has established a loose ekphrastic network. One, you might say, provides a practical as well as theoretical approach to the panartistic Gesamtkunstwerk. In the meantime, however, the Dutch painter pursues his expression, his godly narratives and ungodly images in the privacy of his studio.